Hello everyone, amazing as are you, and welcome back to another Pillars of the Earth episode. Um, I'm going to continue just with the game. I finally figured out where uh, where I needed to go and what I needed to do. So we're going to do that. I'm also going to open the window. Because it is hot in here. Well, it's hot in here. Apparently, the uh, battlements that I'm looking for is just right by the night, and I just didn't see it. There's also a control, a keybind control, where I can find things um, that I'm interact with. Because I remember that tutorial. stuff there. Display hints of space. I'm not going to remember that. That's fine. Okay, so across the yard, come up here. The actually here. My space bar kind of sucks. I, cause like, he was saying like, oh, the battlements are off, but I didn't know what he was talking about. He was literally just talking about this pillar. Like, I never would have guessed. Okay. Bye. The battlements are broken. I noticed that already. Well, that should do for now. Yeah, stay sharp. You did a very good job, son. Now, come along. You deserve to see if it works. Look, I'd like to give you work, but we don't need you. I just hope you're not expecting a siege soon. Why do you say that? Your defenses are in bad repair. Be specific, man. The mortar in your walls has come away in places. This leaves an opening for a crowbar, and once there's a hole, it's easy to pull the entire wall down. Anything else? Yeah. The keep has an undercroft with a wooden door. If I were attacking the keep, I'd go through that door and start a fire in the stores. And if you were the Earl, how would you prevent it? I'd have a pile of stone, ready shaped, and a supply of sand and lime for mortar. And a mason standing by, ready to block up that doorway in times of danger. Matthew, may I have a word with you? Well, we have a home. For now. Is that all right for you all? Of course. Alfred? Why are you asking me? Because you're a builder. And I think you have a say in it too. It's fine with me. Grab your things, everyone, and follow me. Ah, Time we put a roof over our heads. Ah, and, this... and thus, Tom Builder had finally found work. There was a letter then that it wouldn't last for long. There was a letter in the key. Ha! Ah, I missed that. Oh well. Wow. Oh well. Missed that completely. Oh, that's unfortunate. Doesn't matter, I'm not going for seedlings or anything, but it would have been nice to have that. 
It's good you sent your brother to tell your flock in St. John's about your nomination. If you'd gone yourself, they might not have let you leave again. There is a good chance I will return to St. John's after the election today. Why so pessimistic? Many of the brothers still want Remigius to become prior. Philip. Yes? There was an incident with one of our novices. What kind of incident? Remigius came to him. He was bleeding all over. He could barely walk, but walk he did. He called out for him, but he did not turn around. He never looked back. He ran away. It was not the first. And it wasn't the first time Brother Marcus was punished either. Brother Marcus? Yes. He stole my keys and food. You reported him to Remigius. I did, but he is practically a child. Remigius really goes too far. Last year, he hit a novice. The poor soul became deaf in one ear. <sighs> Tell me, Philip. What will be the first thing that you do when you're elected? We will repair the cathedral. It's about time. Long overdue. If only we weren't in debt. How would we pay for the repairs? You cannot go in there. What was that? Who are these people? Hey! Step back. Step back, I say. What is going on out there? Soldiers? Did they start a war again? Those fools. Philip! It's Francis. They have Francis. Francis. Oh, don't go in the door. Fuck! Ah. Give me to do that. What's your name? It would be easier for us all if you just came with us. Oh, shit. <laughs> What about the child? Is it yours? <laughs> Francis. Like it or not, you'll be coming with us. What are you doing here? And who is... Who is that? I found him. In the woods. Hey! Hey! We fed him goat's milk in St. John's. Johnny Eightpence did. He says he misses you. He was always very sentimental. Hey! Philip, you must not tell these men my name. My Lord Robert of Gloucester believes me to be in Winchester. I gave the letter to the bishop. He said he'd help. May God have mercy on us. I was wrong to send you. I... What is it? These men are with the bishop. He is here, in Kingsbridge. The bishop is here? Hey, you two. You should listen when you're spoken to. Who are you? And what about the child? Did you make it? Did you two do it and make a little baby? <laughs> You're so damn royal. By God, you look so funny. Oh, come on. Let me hold him. <laughs> A name. Or both of your names. Come on, you two. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. What? One of the Ten Commandments. Do you not know them? Save your words, monk. 
do you not know of heaven and hell? I do. I know of them. I know of heaven and hell. If you know and still go against the word of God, you will not be saved. Not heaven awaits sinners, but hell, the lake of fire. We'll take hell then. No. No. William. What is your name, monk? I am Philip. Philip of Gwyneth. Hmm. It's him we're looking for, not the other one. Monks, they all look alike. Wait, you're looking we for We were me? looking for you. Oh, okay. Bishop Whaler Run wants to see you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we found him. He's here. Tell the bishop. I found the monk. The bishop. Tell the bishop. Go on, monk. We'll all keep an eye on you. You will be safe. <laughs> <laughs> We've come just for you, so move. Okay. Go on, Mom. Tell the bishop. I thought he would at least be taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble with Philip. There you are. The right Reverend Bishop Whaler and Bygod. Philip and I are already acquainted. You were looking for me, my bishop? <coughs> I was. Remedius, Philip does look distressed, does he not? Yes, he does. I'm very confused. Tell me, what is on your mind? That's a good question. Where were these men? Soldiers of the the prior. These men who were looking for me, who are they? And why are they here? Oh, them, of course. I have gotten too used to the presence of knights and nobles. The work of a bishop. I'm very confused. The reason why these men are outside right now is your letter, Philip. <sighs> As I suspected, it did convince my allies to go against the Earl of Shiring. These allies of mine insisted that their knight should accompany me along with their son. And very soon, they will ride against the Earl. I understand, my bishop. Philip, I have the feeling that there is a storm rising. Right here, in Kingsbridge. And in the eye of that storm stands one man. Don't say me. Shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Around you, things, things begin moving. Don't they, Remedius? Yes. But there is one important thing you have kept from me. What? There is. My bishop. What did I keep from you? You did not mention that you, Philip, were nominated to be prior of Kingsbridge. I... The brothers here will elect their new prior today, will they not? The election will take place in a few hours, my bishop. I, I can give it to Remedius. You need a strong prior. James was my friend, but a strong prior he was not. So we are in agreement on these matters, are we not, Remedius? Of course, right, Reverend. So, me? Uh, the bishop and I agreed you should have this. Woo! Oh, it's just his rosary. Well, that's fucking dumb. Uh, yeah, I did miss um, a letter from the town, so that's unfortunate. Okay, I don't care really about that. Very well. I don't care about the documents anymore. Now, when your distinguished guests arrive, what will be the subject of your first sermon as the new prior of Kingsbridge? Oh god. I think what I would talk about is... Excuse me.
I beg your forgiveness, but I do not understand. Most of your brothers agree with me on this matter. Remedius has talked to them. They will vote for you. Okay. As will I. And I will support you in your duties in my role as sub-prior. A role you have fulfilled wonderfully in the past, Remedius. Wonderfully. My bishop? Philip of Gwyneth. You will be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Oh. In humbleness, I stand before you, most humbled by your trust and humbled by the great tasks ahead of us. We must restore Kingsbridge to do justice to the glory of God and to his mercy. The desperate and the hopeless everywhere shall hear our bells. They shall see our towering cathedral. Our great church will become a guiding light, but first and foremost, through our actions and our faith, we ourselves shall be such a light, a light to the lost, the hurt, and the suffering on their path to God. The Earl of Shiring is not in attendance, it seems. He is not. Shameful. He's busy preparing his siege on Winchester. I trust he does not know we are about to foil his plans, Percy. Answer the bishop, my husband. No, no, he does not expect us. Not at all. My men are ready. So is our son. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. I think it does make there sense you are. to have both of them separated. What's the matter? Did I have a father? Yes. Everyone has a father. What happened to him? He died before you were born. How could he be my father if he died before I was born? Babies grow from a seed. The seed comes out of a man's prick and is planted in a woman's cunny. Then the seed grows into a baby in her belly, and when it's ready, it comes out. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Why did you tell me? About father, I mean. I needed you to be older. Trust me, I once the like time 18. is right, I will tell you I got you the everything. mind of an 18-year-old. I promise. I'm in the body of a 12-year-old. What was my father's but... name? Jack. The same as you. They called him Jack Sherberg. So, what? if there's another Jack, I can tell people that I'm Jack Jackson? <laughs> you can. People don't always call you what you want them to, but you can try. Well, there's, there's the army. What is that? Jack, find the others, then hide and don't come out till I tell you. There's the army. Let's go, this is gonna be fun. Was intimidated when you mentioned hell, the thief he reported by Marcus from the prior after the severe camp. Going through it last, we are getting this done. Now that I figured out what the frick the Bowmans were. I do like having them on separate sides. That just makes more sense, because Tom would go to find work. So Oh, Tom, well, there are at here. least 200 of them at the river. Knights, again? What colors do they wear? They are not knights, Philip. They say they cannot pay. Oh. It is all right, Brother Paul. I told them that there's a toll. Who is your leader? Who will speak for you? No one will speak for us, monk. We were chased from every village. They are outlaws. We are no outlaws. <laughs> I mean, we come from Earl's Castle. They killed our men. My child. They killed my child. My God. We cannot feed you. We barely have enough for ourselves.
we will give them shelter. Philip, we have not enough room. What about the abandoned? We will give you all shelter, all of you. Doesn't matter. I wish I had more to give. You don't have more. We've given away almost all the food we have. Yeah, we should have given away the food. But... What will these poor people eat tomorrow? Before they came here, they fed themselves. They worked. Surely they could do that again. <sighs> there are more coming. Word is spreading fast. What do we do now, Philip? Give me the rest of the bread. But here, Philip. Then, help to clean out the empty houses, and tend to the injured. There you go. You've heard our prior, brothers. Okay, so... Take care of the refugees. What's bread we have? What's bread we have? Injured people, road toward north, children without parents, hungry women and children, dying no child, refugees. And he's zooming. No, I'm all right. Others need it more than I. Take it. Share it with the others. But you have to eat too. Thank you, Father. Earl Bartholomew was a good man. How they humiliated him in front of his children. It was not right. He will come to help us. No, woman. They will hang him. But why? <laughs> Don't move, Pa. I can work. I've always worked. Please let us stay. What is this, Pa? Your leg is... I taught my children how to make bath. Ah. Take some bread for your children. This is not enough. He has more bread. I saw it. Please, our children are starving. Give us bread for our children. I am dumbass. That is that is all it is. So you did that. You did that. We should use up no. Children, take some food. Here, I will put it here. Please give some to those give people it over to there. Us. We have Why nothing. did this happen? What did we Our do? Our children wrong? will die in this cold. Oh, wake Please, up, Pa. Let us stay. We, we can work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys are gonna be able to. St you guys can stay. Yeah. Filled notes on the refugees. Set with the refugees. They told me of William Hamley. Uh, Trouble those who fell. I've been fled. Just hearing about it, some trips on my spine. If it happened, my lungs would not help. Hey. Philip, we are running out of room. Have you done as I told you? We have cleared out the houses and put up fires. All houses are occupied, and our brothers are treating the sick and injured. There is still some room in the guest house and in the dormitory. Tomorrow, we will open the cathedral. We need all the room we can get. Prior Philip. Who's this? Yes? Oh. I am Tom, Master Builder, and I'd like to rebuild your Northwest Tower. Dear God, you look even worse than the others. Like they haven't eaten in days. They just don't stop coming, do they? I have worked on Salisbury Cathedral. My last employer was the Earl of Shiring himself. I know my craft. If you let your tower collapse, it may tear down parts of the nave. Hire me. And I'll make it strong again. Do you not see how many there are in need? They need help as much as you do. They all followed a profession once. They all want to work. Is that the right choice? Really a cool. child. You are raising a child. My brother found Jonathan in the woods and brought him here. The poor boy would have frozen to death if it hadn't been for God's great mercy. Jonathan. 
Look, I am sorry, but all I can offer you is a place to sleep. I'll accept. But I'd rather earn it. We didn't come here to beg. Ask God, then. That wouldn't be begging. It'd be prayer. Me just. She's asked. You remember what I told you about the kindness of monks? Ask God. That wouldn't be begging. It would be prayer. <laughs> Where's Alfred? Oh, I will pray. I will pray for a thunderbolt to strike the church and level it to the ground. I wonder if they refused us because of me. I can't tell them repair their church. Can't we go home? Do they know you? Can't we go home? Not anymore. We used all our supplies on the journey here. We've made our decision. Now we need to see it through. Can I look around a bit? Yes, but don't stroll too far. Be cautious of those monks. I told you the baby would be safe. What baby? Monks may be whips, but they take care of their own. You will grow up to be a monk. I am not a ghost, little redhead, even if I am at death's door. If you go first, I will put you in the ground. It's what I do. I'll make it a nice grave. You'll like it, but you must dig me one, too, when my time comes. Agreed? That's good. Good. You must not be afraid to die. Death is not the end. There is more after. That's the yeah, secret. That nutty. is what all this here is about. You see? Oh. Hmm. Martha, Mother and Tom. Find a way to help Tom. Lock that. Okay, sick. We are out of food. Who is it? The Mason's boy. I'm sorry, but I cannot help you. Come back in the morning, will you? Uh, Those poor souls. They can hardly sleep. At least they don't have to take care of a baby. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, a second clock. Um. Mother? Not now, Jack. He will. Martha? Leave her, Jack. She's been through a lot. I think she deserves a good night's rest. Mm. Trick you, bro. That's the name they've given him. Refugees from Earl's Castle, aren't you? Did you see how they killed people? I don't think I could take it. We monks do not do things like killing. I will not change my mind ah, on this so, matter. There we, go. we will help them, all of them. Remigius, do you truly want to leave these people to die? We should remove ourselves from the world, my prior. It is for God to decide, not us. 
We will help these people. We must. Hey, what are you doing here? Remigius here is right. This is no place for children. Now I remember her. What is it now, Remigius? This woman. She came with the Builder. Um. Yes? She is not a refugee. What do you mean? She's an outlaw. She's been here in the past. Prior James warned me about her. She is not from Earl's castle. She's from the forest. But her husband? I doubt they are married. Young man? Are you not the Builder's son? What's your name? Jack Jackson. Son of Jack? Well then, you may go now. Thanks. He is not the Builder's son. I, I knew it. He is her son. And of a man called Jack. Fornicators, that's what they are. Unmarried even. That woman must be expelled from Kingsbridge. I had no idea. I will think about it. Mess that up. Bye. Oh, I wish someone would just tear that cathedral down so we could start afresh. That would require a miracle, and I really don't know a thing about them. I'm so tired. Come, I'll sing you a lullaby. Actually, it's Jack's favorite. A lark caught in the hunter's net Sang sweeter then than ever As if the falling melody Might wing and net dissever at dusk the hunter took his prey The lark is freedom never All birds and men are sure to die But songs may live forever Ooh. Damn! Okay. Oh my god. Prior James. Oh. Um. It won't move. Oh, that doesn't. That makes sense. Whoa, I gotta explore this. What the hell? very dry. Okay, that's not English. I'm assuming at some point I fall through these boards, right? I think I go in the garden for once. Hmm, like Mother's garden at home. 
I'm assuming I just go back up, right? No, not that way, though. Where did I come from? Where did I come from and where did I go? Close the big door. We're locked in now. Okay, so I can't talk to them. Uh, boy. Uh, I don't think I can actually talk to you. No, can't talk to you. Where? If I was huh. Why is the bowl on the pedestal? Do people drink here? it up with I have the inscription but it doesn't it's not an object uh maybe nah you didn't put the key back okay Okay, don't have time. Oh, why are they taking? He's always hearing things. First it. Can I just wait, Michael? I'm very confused. When you die... Oh, 
gift from God, Jonathan. I wish I could hold him. Leave her, Jack. I know. But you have to be careful. He must never know that you're his father. Tom? I'm fine. If only that stupid cathedral would fall apart. You stupid thing. My brain is working now. If they need to build a new cathedral, Tom will get work. And we can stay here. Tom always talks about wanting to work on a cathedral. Belly breathe. It is you! 
by God and the devil! <laughs> really? They sent you back to punish me. I told them we must repent for what we did to you, to all of them, for my sins. Cast me into the lake of fire. Francis, only two days have passed since you left our priory. Much has happened in these two days. Many desperate men, women, and children have found refuge here. The Earl of Shiring was arrested. His castle taken by my bishop's allies. The people that we shelter were driven from that castle. Francis, I know this was not your fault, but I, myself, cannot but feel responsible for their fate. A couple has come to seek shelter at our priory. Remigius tells me the woman is a witch. Even if that is not true, they seem to live in sin. Remigius and I decided to expel them for their act against God. At least one of them will have to leave. Those who refuse to live by the Bible can only be a bad influence. Milius and Cuthbert have taken it upon themselves to feed the baby. They called it Jonathan, the gift of God. Johnny Eightpence was right. He loves goat milk. The gift of God. I will not give up. Not on us, even if the... Okay. I pray that this letter... One must... This letter's taken a while. I heard Help one of go. your brother, Philip. No, no, no! Get out of there! What? What is that? Save yourselves! The saint! We must save the saint! My god! My god! Don't go in there! Adolphus! The saint! We must save him! No! No! Don't go! While the monks and refugees cleaned up, I kept hidden. I hadn't expected that a magnificent building like this could so utterly collapse. That the ignorant little boy that I had been could so easily turn it back into a pile of dirty stones. I knew then that I had done something wrong. And no one could ever find out. Prior Philip, I uh, had the site cleared. It should be safe now. Good work. Thank you, Master Builder. This concludes a very long night, then.
Uh, many people left already. They asked me to thank you for your kindness. They're sorry for what happened. Well, they should thank God for his mercy. No one got hurt, no one died. Forty-five monks and eleven novices, all accounted for. No one's missing. No one? Milius and Cuthbert even saved our saint from the crypt. Do you know what caused this? Are you talking to me? Oh, no one got hurt. The books were saved. Even the bones of your saint were unharmed. Maybe this happened for a reason. What do you mean? Here. Let me show you something. Tell me, what do you see? I see... Dawn. Right. Briar, I am deeply sorry about what happened to your church, but you must remain steadfast. <laughs> no, no, you're only seeing the sunrise because you're facing east, straight east, like a church. Now, I know you have no money, and that helping people is more important, but we could start right here. Take the stones we've got, and the people who want to help. So, what is it I am looking at, Tom Builder? Sure. It's the Isle of your new cathedral. Oh. <laughs> Didn't see that for sure. I see it. I see now. We'll save at the most possible point. A few weeks later, I received an invitation from Bishop Waleran. In Winchester, we and Waleran's allies were to meet King Stephen himself. The bishop seemed assured that, because we had helped the king, Stephen would support us in return. And that with his help, we would be able to rebuild Kingsbridge Cathedral. Percy Hanley. Bishop Waleran. Good morning. Ali! It's them! Over there! The Hamleys! Again, thank you for your assistance in Kingsbridge, my son. We have to thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Right, Mother? Of course. Well, don't just stand there. Walk out with me, but very calmly. We can't let them see us. Oh, children, pardon me. Now we're only missing one more. Here he is. Good morning. Bishop Henry, this is my prior. Philip of Gwyneth, Prior of Kingsbridge, my Lord Bishop. You won't have to say much today, Philip. Leave the talking to us. No, leave the talking to me. King Stephen is my brother, after all. Let us make haste. My brother is an early riser. Chapter 6. We must make haste. 
I want to go hunting in the new forest. <laughs> England is full of game. No comparison to Normandy. This country is still wild. This is Wailoran Bygood, the Bishop of Kingsbridge. Wailoran, I remember you. We've met before. And Percy Hamley. My king. He brought Bartholomew to justice. And it's not the first time he's helped me. He has Norman blood in him. <laughs> we should hunt together someday. Indeed, sire. Bartholomew, on the other hand, will not leave the jail alive. Uh, Percy Hamley did not do it without help, my lord. It was I who told him of the plot against you. And now you come to be rewarded as well. I see. My brother, the Cathedral of Kingsbridge has burnt down. Waleron asks for a reward, not for himself. He asks for our church. I take it your church cannot afford to rebuild that cathedral, Henry. Neither can the crown. I, or rather Bishop Waleron, had an idea. You could give the Earl of Shiring's lands to the Bishop of Kingsbridge to finance the rebuilding of the cathedral. I like the idea. But Percy and his men were the ones who took Earl's castle, not Bishop Waleron. Right, Percy? Uh, yes, my king. Mm. He knows the area. And he will be a loyal Earl, will you not? Of course, my king. You ought to give thanks to God first. God made you king. Don't go on like that, Henry. Don't do that. You know what happens when you do that. It was a long way to this throne. A long way. Yes, my brother. Now I will hunt. My Lord King, I thank you for being willing to reconsider the future of the Shiring Earldom. When shall we hear your decision? Tomorrow. Bring my bow. Tell the men we hunt. Well, in that, Philip, at the Wailoran and I have much to discuss. All right. But what can I do to help? Well... My brother asked me to get a confession from the traitor Bartholomew. A confession would be helpful against those who believe Bartholomew's arrest was unjust. And it may help us to convince my brother to forget all about his promise to Percy Hamlet. I don't understand why it auto saves. It really doesn't. <laughs> Okay. Well, that'll be it for now. That's pretty good. Um, definitely messed up a little bit, but it's fine. I'll see you guys next time.